Thank you so much for taking this course. This is the VAT course for Sage Instant and Sage 50 accounts. I have Sage Instant accounts up on the screen and this is demo data that I'll be working with today with a fake company, Stationery and Computer Mart UK. So the VAT return I'll be doing is fake, but the process and procedure I'll be following is a standard procedure I'd follow for any VAT return I would do on a live or real company. So before we look at the return itself, we need to look at the tax codes and ensure you have an understanding of the tax codes on Sage. So if you click on settings on the top ribbon, click on configuration. You'll have a box like this appear. It'll be very similar to this. Because there are so many versions of Sage, sometimes things are tweaked a little bit now and then. Um, but your box should look very similar to this, the configuration editor. And there should be a tab that says tax codes. Click on that. You'll then have a list of tax codes appear. And these tax codes go from T0 to T99. Now these tax codes are the codes that appear when we put invoices on Sage or the majority of transactions we do on Sage requires a tax code even if we're not VAT registered it requires a T0 or T9 code. So if we put on supplier you'll see a tax code appears here which is T1 rate 20 percent the standard rate so that's the tax codes i'm talking about the ones that appear there so let's go back to configuration tax codes so these tax codes go from t0 to t99 so 100 codes but it's only the first 10 so t0 to t9 that you really need to be aware of the first one is t0 which is zero rated so zero for zero rated the next code you need to be aware of is T1, which is 20%, which is currently the standard rate. And in the description here it says standard rate, and the zero rated says zero rated. If that rate ever changes, just click edit once T1 is highlighted, and you can change the rate here. And you can change the description too, if you wanted to change the description. The next code you need to be aware of is T5 for 5%, which is currently the lower rate or the reduced rate of fat. Once again, if that ever changes, just click Edit and change that there. And then the last code you need to be aware of is T9, which is the non vatable tax code. And the description can be changed by clicking Edit. Now, they're the four codes that most clients will ever use. If you do buy and sell with other European Union countries and um, there are a few more codes that you need to use which are T4 which is sale of goods to VAT registered customers in EC countries I believe. If we click edit the full description will come up. Oh just EC. So sale of goods to VAT registered customers in EC. T7 is zero rated purchases of goods from suppliers in EC. Then T8 is standard rated purchase of goods from suppliers in EC. So the standard rated purchases, zero rated purchases and sales of goods all to EC customers and suppliers. Now, like I said, you'll probably only need the T0, T1, T5 and T9. So zero rated, standard rated, lower rated and non vatable tax code. But if you do buy and sell with European countries and this is not making any sense to you, go over to www.hmrc.gov.uk to get further information on buying and selling with European Union, Union countries. Um, you can also get in contact with me if you like to, at um, info at bpfs-online.com. So let's get rid of these tax codes. The first thing you need to do when preparing a VAT return is to ensure that everything has been posted to SAGE up to the end of the VAT quarter. So the VAT return we will be doing in this video will be for the VAT quarter 
February 2013 to April 2013. So three months, the whole of February, the whole of March, and the whole of April. So the first thing I need to do to ensure that this return is going to be correct is to ensure everything has been posted up to the 30th of, of April 2013. Okay, and when I say everything, if we click on the customer module, we need to ensure all invoices for customers dated up to the 30th of April and before are on Sage. The same with suppliers, all supplier invoices or purchase invoices are posted on Sage, which are dated up to the 30th of April and before. And also, we need to ensure the bank reconciliation is completed up to the 30th of April and before okay so if your VAT quarter is December January February you need to ensure everything up to the end of that February is on the stage there's supplier invoices customer invoices and bank reconciliations now if you have any questions about re bank reconciliations I have a course on bank reconciliations also um, it's quite complex. It's something I'm, you know, I can't really go in now. It distracts us a lot from VAT returns.